Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Arch Ravels, like, or Ravels, Arch Ravels, I think, because it's unraveling, right? That sounds right to me. From XYZ Game Labs, this is a game, it looks like, with knitting as its theme, which is a very interesting theme. You don't see that very much. Looks like two to four players in 30 to 45 minutes. Let's get crafty. Experience the colorful and crafty world of fiber arts. Play as one of eight characters, each with their own crafting specialty. Hit the yarn bazaar to build up your stash. Collect supplies, craft patterns, and complete projects. Well, that's a neat theme. I always like to see games that have themes that you haven't seen a bunch of times. And this is certainly one that you don't see a whole lot. All right. I'm not sure this is, uh, maybe this is actually uh, an actual crocheting pattern. I'm not sure. All right, here's our rule book. We've got our components here. Our player setup, our game area setup, and the gameplay. They play turn, players take turns in clockwise order, starting with the player who laughed, crafted something, or at random. Three steps to your turn. You take player actions, you restock the yarn bazaar, and you take restock actions. So, looks like the different actions are you can shop, craft, exchange, and unique actions. And it goes into more details about each of those different actions. And then you've got restocking the yarn bazaar. Oops, looks like we got some mittens that made their way out of the board there. Finishing a product. Game end. All right, the game ends when there are no cards left in the project deck and fewer than three projects in the project list. All right, so here we've got some of our cardboard components. All right, different types of projects. Looks like one color, two color, four different colors for the yarns. Maybe these are your different types of projects that you can make. All right, aha, uh -huh. we have some nice game trays inserts. That's, I, I do love a good game trays insert. So there you can see, that's always nice to me. These are our yarn bowls. Oh, there's our little knit hat that snuck out of there. So we've got our yarn bowls here. There's four of those. We've got our, looks like our market board. And here are our player boards. You've got Rebecca, Theo, Derek, Amara, Neha, Alex, sorry, Ted, and Eliza. And let's see, we've got some cards now. So these look like our different projects that we are trying to make. And I'm trying to find, oh, here we go. So we've got our lumberjack, snow day, triplets, Baby Shower, Oktoberfest, so you get the idea. 37 points for that one. That's a lot of a lot of stuff you're making. All right. Well, I think we get the idea there. Got our little project cards. Then we've got some square cards here. including some player aid cards with these square cards, which I'll show you as soon as I can get them unwrapped. Easier said than done. All right, here are the game phases as we looked at in the rule book. So that's always nice. Oops. Our different yarns, one red, two red, one orange, two orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, red and orange, red and yellow, yellow and red. 
And then in that same kind of vein, I'm gonna retrieve this card that I dropped so that I don't forget it later because I have been known to do such a thing on occasion. So we're going to have some of the other colors represented here. You can see on the top we've got green and blue here. And blue and purple, red, orange, and yellow. So the trifectas, any colors. Tangled Cat. So these look like maybe some kind of interactive cards. That player can't craft on their next turn. Give another player one yarn from your stash. He doesn't look happy about it though. Take a total of three yarn from the supply. All players take a yarn from the supply. So different things that you can do. All right, well, again, I really do like these unique themes. That one, this is cute. House scarf, nine and three quarters. I wonder what that's alluding to. I really do like games with these kinds of themes. Let's take a look at the wooden components because it looks like there's some nice wooden components here as well, including a big kitty. All right, so these are screen printed components. The kitty's not screen printed, but that's all right. There you go. You can kind of see some of those. And the cat, which I had misplaced, is right there. And then we've got our, what I'm assuming are different yarns. It's got to be because those are the colors of the yarn, but you can just see these are just little wooden pieces of the different yarn colors. All right, well, I think that that gives us a pretty good idea of what you're going to find inside the box of Arch Ravels. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.